Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Obviously, this is the Lath of the Wham edition, or something along those lines. Let's take a look at our challenges quickly. I feel like I've done a lot of challenges lately, but I also want to finish the challenge list if possible. I mean, it says to-do list. That gives me a compulsion to finish it. We've tried all of these ones. Let's try Isaac Was Good Today again, you know? It's fairly early in the morning for me. This will be a nice way to ease into my day. Obviously, with Isaac Is Good Today, we start with uh, the ability to fly, as well as uh, all stats upgrades. We start with two, uh, maybe two all stats upgrades, actually, uh, because I have five hearts, or at least five heart containers, instead of three, which is unusual. Hey, here's a room that has some money in it. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but you can actually use the ability to fly to pick up that money. Uh, you don't have to use bombs or, you know, bomb-like spacebar items to get that, so, you know... Feel free to leave happy comments in the comments section about my aptitude of the game. Without further ado, let's move onwards and get off this toxic tangent. I have no idea how I failed this challenge the first time. I assume it had something to do with me not getting very many treasure rooms. Oh, but I mean, there's no treasure rooms. But I mean, not getting very many treasures, I should say. Wow, you got a ton of money there. Uh, that is definitely going to make the shop on the first floor viable. I'm going to save my money. Uh, Mom's purse is not a bad item per se, but it is an item that I don't think is worth 15 cents. I usually have picked it up in the past. You know, the ability to hold tr two trinkets is not necessarily bad, but it is not as valuable as a lot of other items, at least in my estimation. So we're going to fight Lust. Hopefully Lust will give us uh, Poison Touch, I guess, is the best thing we could probably hope for here. Or just more bombs and keys would be fine by me as well. Okay, well a single key is good enough. And our pill is... Oh no! Uh, I'm definitely going to hold on to that moon card. Because I believe, I can't remember ever if it's the moon or the stars that takes us to the uh, secret room. Alright, well. It was indeed uh, the moon that takes us to the secret room. And we will fight our boss here and see what we got going on. We got 30 cents already! Alright, this is cool. Could potentially get a damage upgrade here, which would be great. Or, uh, you know, the other alternative is just... A DPS upgrade, shall we say. Obviously, little Stevie will shoot some homing shots. It'll all be good. Hey, hey! Don't try to hit me like that. I guess the first thing I should be looking out for is Ouija board. Hey. Hey. Okay, we got them separated, which means I could go for little Stevie first, which I think gives a higher percentage chance of getting Steven. But I don't really care. They're both alright. Decent items. I prefer the damage upgrade, because I trust my shots more than I trust little Stevie's, but you, know, you can't always get what you want, right? Well, there we go. Regular Steve is dead. Little Steve is dead. We get little Steve, and I should be able to get this, yes, to get us back to full health before we go on to the basement part two. And there's the shop right away. Excellent. Uh, 15 cents for a map. Considering the amount of money that I have right now is definitely worthwhile. That'll open up the secret rooms for us and should pay for itself before too long. Probably... Oh, that's explosive diarrhea, isn't it? Well, I'll pick it up because that could be helpful against the boss. I can't go into the boss room for some reason. I, I still need to figure out why that is. I thought maybe it was because that white fly existed, but apparently not. So in terms of the challenges left that I think are going to be the most difficult, I think I had a pretty terrible run with uh, seven years bad luck. Large Marge I don't think is going to be all that bad, to be honest with you. Let's use Explosive Diarrhea here to get to the secret room. Uh, the Purist might be tri tricky or difficult. Wow, 99 bombs, that's awesome. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. I think I'm getting fairly close to, you know, what I might consider to be the end game of these challenges. Let's go fight the boss here, because we're already here. Just Larry Jr. Um, can probably afford... Hey! Knock that bomb right out of the way. Yeah, I can probably afford to drop some bombs against Larry Jr., considering I have 97 of them. Yeah, that'll do it. And we'll get a Spirit Heart for our troubles. I have a feeling we will get a deal with the Devil as well. Uh, it's okay. First off, Spirit Heart. We get a box, which is all one of each type of item, I should say. So we got the Emperor card. That's really good. We got a pill, which might be good. Hey, pretty fly. Definitely not a bad pill. Get back up to 97 bombs. We got a key. We got the tick. And remember, if you get the tick, you can't ever lose it. But I'll take it because it'll take damage or take health off of the bosses. It takes something like 15%. And then we got Krampus. 
who is apparently dying incredibly quickly. I wonder if Krampus' health scales with where you run into him, because Basement Part 2 is quite early to run into Krampus. Oh, you know what it was? Why he had all that damage off at the start? That was the tick. Alright, that is pretty helpful, actually. So we'll just take Krampus, take his passive damage upgrade, and then hopefully, on a future floor, we will actually be able to trade with the devil. Maybe pick up a brimstone or something. I think brimstone's, like, prevalence has been nerfed a little bit. Because I have very rarely run into it now. Well, there's our lump of coal. There's our chariot card. Emperor card is better, but I gotta hold on to it for longer. We might as well take our charity card, or a chariot's card, I should say, and use it on one of these remaining rooms if possible. Like, I would love to go to the boss. Oh, God! Well, first things first. Just handle things this way. Alright, that worked out. <laughs> and now we got a death card, so we might as well use the death card on something else. So let's fly our way over here. Still can't go to the boss room again. No freaking idea what makes the boss room uh, possible. Should use some objective reasoning. Or deductive reasoning. Not objective reasoning. Lots of spirit arts. Game is being pretty nice to me right now. You know what? Why not? Self-sacrifice room. Rage, well worth the half spirit heart. It's gonna cost me. Uh, I'm gonna skip the arcade. I've already got enough. Oh, come on! Why didn't I just shoot the fire? That was a dumb idea. Uh, still can't go to the boss room, so we will skip the Emperor card and hold on to the Death card. Oh, well, the Emperor card is apparently gone anyway, so fine by me. Alright, Catacombs Part 1. Let's start by going up. Yeah, I figured we'd find some kind of special room here. And now that we do have Rage, our damage is, is incredible. Can't believe I took damage. They're just, okay. Maybe this is what happened to me. I got too goddamn cocky on my last run. Now I just want to keep it cool. Want to keep. Oh, that was close. Get another set of money. You know what? It's probably worth half a heart as well to open this red chest. Yes, absolutely worth half a heart to open that red chest. Red chest, either spiders or spirit hearts, is the motto that I think they live by right now. I don't want to deal with this room, actually. I'm not sure what I'm doing in here. Now we'll make our way downwards, hopefully trying to find the shop again. Still no. Oh, death card! That was well worth it. Two of hearts, doubles are, uh, red hearts. Not heart containers, though, just hearts, so... I'll save that until I'm low. Anyway. Okay, this is good. We got a key. We got a mob trap room. Why not? Okay. Well, kind of a waste, then. It's alright, I can live with it. Really need a spacebar item above all else right now. In terms of just, like, pure damage or pure stats right now, I think it's pretty clear that my Isaac is doing alright for himself. But, I could really, really use some kind of, like, over-the-top spacebar item. You know what would be cool? Blue Candle! I really enjoyed that item uh, in my run-through yesterday. And would love to pick that up and hopefully use it with a little bit more style this time. Move over to the right here, or a little more aptitude, one could say. I really can't believe how much money I've gotten. Maybe I have, like, incredible luck stats? Because Isaac was good today definitely seems to be one of the most OP runs. I mean, not probably not as OP as starting with a level 4 Meat Boy, but still pretty damn good. Telepills took us to the Mob Trap Room, which we've already been through. That's fine. We know that we must encounter uh, probably a shop and a boss and what else over in this corner? Maybe one other special room. Tempting. Very tempting. In fact, I may actually take you up on that. Because if it takes red hearts... Oh, 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 da, da, da. If it takes red hearts, I can always use my two of heart card. The two of hearts card. To uh, buff myself back up. Okay, thanks for the explosive diarrhea pill, that's really useful. Um, okay, we can play one more time. It's awesome. Uh, then what we can do is go back here and get some health. Really hoping he pays out with a, a bitch and space bar item sometime soon. And there's a full heart in the mob trap room as well, so let's keep busting him out here. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay, so I can play two more times. Hey, there we go. 
All that for a brother Bobby. Amazing. Uh, and three pills, two of which have unknown functions, and the third of which has a function which I don't understand. Now, if I've figured out the two of hearts appropriately, what we should be able to do now is go into this mob trap room, pick this up, and then double it. Yes, to bring us back to full health. Awesome. Now we'll go see what those pills do, and then I guess we'll fight the boss. Maybe I'll, I'll save the explosive diarrhea pill for the boss fight. Who knows? Let's go up. Okay, this pill. This pill has historically been good to me. Okay, that's gonna be fine for the boss. Now what do we got in the orange pill here? Health upgrade. Pretty damn cool. Okay, we'll go fight the boss. We'll go check this out. If it's greed, it's greed. Whatever, I'll deal with it. Compass! Awesome, so we got map and compass. Which is, of course, a great combination. Did I go to the secret room on this floor, or did I just bypass it? Oh, you know what? I have 97 bombs, so I might as well go check it. Trying to be more thorough. Okay. Steven, please stop that. I think I went in. No, I didn't. Oh my god. Passed by like 15 cents. So I could pick up another spirit heart. There was another pill in there. But I might as well just rather save my money and use it on another shop in the future. Again, I still do not have a spacebar item. So yeah, blighted ovum. Took some damage there. Let's use explosive diarrhea. Um, literally not hurt him at all, but... Blighted Ovum's principal issue for me is and has always been this creep that he spawns. So for me to just be able to do that works fine. Alright, and we'll pick up another health upgrade as a result of that. And I think we can just head down to the next floor. That worked out pretty well. Lo lost a couple of spirit hearts, I guess, in that room. It's all good. Map and compass definitely making my life easier here. We're pretty powerful. We might as well just explore every room that we come across. Because I could use more key drops. Bombs, probably okay for bombs right now. Friends till the end is a good card. Well, good pill. Well, decent pill. <laughs> Let's not go crazy. Uh, oh, I should have blown up the slot machine. I had 94 bombs, why not? This thing will come back this way. Really thought I was going to get hit there. No such luck. I hate that green things are immune to their own bombs. Oh well. Thinking that, is that a boss room or a, like, a boss trap room or uh, a regular gauntlet room? I think that's a boss gauntlet room, but I can't, I don't know the secret to get inside of it. Why did you have to patch it so you didn't, you can't fly into it? Damn it, assholes. Maybe you have to take damage on the room to access it? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just gonna focus on, yeah, segmenting them here. Breaking the human centipede. And then we will... Nope, can't go in there, which is a shame, because there's obviously some kind of worthwhile item in there. Well, I can't say whether or not it's worthwhile, but there is some kind of item in there. And we do oh, 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 okay. We don't know whether Greed is in the shop, but it doesn't really matter, because if he's in the shop on this floor, he probably won't be in the shop on next floor. Fool takes us back to the spawn. Not particularly useful at this point. I'm just gonna keep firing in these lumps of coal here. And basically murdering everything as soon as I come across it. Oh no, it's greed! I really like how the tick doesn't just um, lower the health of uh, like regular bosses, like you know, like a Larry Jr. style boss. <laughs> Steam sale. Little late, but I'll take it. Could really help me out on these upcoming floors. Uh, yeah, but it also lowers the. Uh, the, the health of, like, the mini-bosses you come across, which is a nice touch, you know? Sometimes those mini-bosses are nearly as hard as the bosses themselves. Okay, one more left. No problems. We are almost into the depths, or at least, like, the third stage. Could be also the Necropolis. Only 14 minutes into the video, which is pretty impressive, and I don't feel like I'm in all that much danger right now. Which is a nice change of pace after some of the runs that I've had recently there. Uh, could visit the arcade. I'm scared. Okay. Uh, like I said, could visit the arcade, but I don't think it's all that important right now. Like, I don't have the kind of health where I could guarantee myself uh, a blood bag. Like, I mean, like, health drops on the screen. In fact, I think we got zero red hearts on that floor, which is all good, because it all worked out, I guess. Cool, we got the Fallen. Give me a good spacebar item, buddy. Wow, tick. 
really helping me out here, uh, along with the fact that I think I'm just doing pretty insane damage to him in general. I think pretty fly saved me from taking some damage there. Just keep it up here. Doing my super greed dodges didn't work out all that well there. Oh, I lost a whole heart there. I hate when they're both chasing you at the same time. But this guy is dead as a fucking doornail. Okay, we got a Ouija board that's good. And we've got Satan. Brimstone and Gup. Oh, Guppy's paw. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let me think for a second. We take Brimstone. Two hearts. So we are down to four. That'll leave us 12. Uh, d -d 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 who, who dares wins, right? I'll take one. I'll take three. Fuck it. Sorry, Guppy's Paw. Uh, it was very tempting considering the heart containers that I had right now. But I'm just going to deal with Brimstone right now. We're going into Necropolis for sure. Because I know. Yeah, the game lagged out a little bit. Because Flying Brimstone is uh, a combination that I have not had in a long time. So I guess we'll make our way over to the shop. There's nothing else I really want to deal with on this floor. Brimstone uh, has apparently been nerfed, as I mentioned a couple of times. But it's charging way faster than it did in that quadruple shot video, and it still seems to sort of get the job done. I wonder if it scales with rage. We got the ladder. Probably not that useful. Uh, wait, this is the depths. This is a necropolis. It's just a vi Oh, it's depths XL. Okay, I get it. So we'll make our way up here. Obviously our hope being uh, that we go to the secret room on our way to the boss room. And maybe the self-sacrifice room, I guess it depends on how things are going. Flying and brimstone is a, you know, a combination as old as time itself. And with good reason. Because it fucking works really well. Guppy's Paw would have been fantastic as well. Either way, I would have been insanely overpowered right now. Like, it's either this situation where I do damage and am basically unhittable by the enemy, or is the situation where I would have converted like eight of my heart containers into uh, three spirit hearts each, so I would have had like 24 spirit hearts. And I figured I did a Guppy's Paw run more recently than I did a good Brimstone run. So we'll stick with this. Still would love a spacebar item at some point. But I know, you know. Can't always get what you want. What do we got here? We got Loki. I have a feeling this fight is not going to be good for you, Loki. But congratulations on your appearance in The Avengers. S summer's biggest blockbuster so far. Mom's coin purse. Lots of pills. Okay, we know these. Yeah, I thought that one was health up. And uh, this one, pretty fly. Okay. Oh, uh, why am I holding on to the fool card? It's garbage. Okay, we got explosive diarrhea. What do we got here? Nothing bad. Nothing bad. Tears down. Not that bad. Considering I have brimstone already. You know what? We don't need the fool. We'll stick with explosive diarrhea. We got mom. Mom is not going to like this fight, is uh, my prediction right now. Focusing, I'm trying to change my Isaac's strategy for fighting Mom and focus less on the foot, more on the enemies on the screen. Uh, and the and the the like structures in the wall, and it seems to be working out fairly well right now. Obviously, it doesn't work for every uh, you know set of item combinations you're gonna get. Can't believe I took damage there. One more. Okay, there's the explosion. Someone told me. That Jesus Juice is also a damage upgrade. Not just range plus tears, it's just bugged right now. So it just looks like it's range plus tears. Obviously range doesn't help me out. Uh, tears doesn't really help me out. Damage helps me out a lot. What do we got in here? Oh, I can't just fly out, right. Ah, but that's worth it, definitely. Speed and damage upgrade. Might be kind of a tricky room, but you know, the Womb Fire 1, not so bad. I've been there, done that a thousand times before. Should be able to murder Chubb. Yeah, like three Brimstones. We are OP right now. The only issue is that we don't have a whole lot of health. But a lot of it is in red hearts, which is good because we can get more red hearts. It's more rare to find spirit hearts than, than rejuvenating red hearts. I think that goes without saying. There we go. We got the key. And we will take the long way to get to, like like I said, more rare to find uh, spirit hearts than red hearts. Uh, take the long way to get to the boss here. Hopefully. Doesn't take us all that long, though. Not that I'm necessarily going for a speedrun or anything like that here. Because, let's be honest, I, th I don't think I'm ever going to be 
speedrun material at the Binding of Isaac. But I think that my competi competency is uh, increasing. My competi competence, <laughs> cumulative competency at the uh, at the game. Obviously not at the English language, which I can't even profess to speak. Apparently, oh, this fetus isn't dead yet. That is the one sentence I've learned in my ESL classes. The fetus is not dead yet. Very important uh, if you're traveling abroad and intend on you know impregnating some people, but you don't want to be there when the baby actually comes out. What the fuck is this, Loki? Loki dose. All right. Well, half Lokis are nearly dead already. I wonder if they split after they die. Does not appear so. Well, then this is an unbelievably easy boss. At least in my current situation. Hey, there's some more damage upgrades. Awesome. What do we got here? We got Womb 2. No need for Utero, I guess. And we will make our way to Mom. And then most challenges usually end when you defeat Mom's heart. So we may find ourselves done with this. Although I think as things are going right now, if I have the option of going to the Cathedral, I probably will just for the practice against Isaac, because my Isaac fighting right now is pretty damn bad. I should be using bombs more, considering I have 99 of them. But it's all just, you know, waste not, want not. And I do not want right now. So we'll toss a few more brimstones in here. This Loki is actually harder than the Loki boss I just fought. Up to 30 cents that I will never be able to use on anything again. Ooh, can't believe I actually took some damage there. Let's get them all lined up. Excellent. And one last cyst, the most annoying enemy in the fucking game. There we go. My most annoying enemy varies, you know, from, from run to run. Wrath, I think I have more bombs than you, so you might want to keep your head out of this one. Just keep your nose out of my business. I'm just trying to fight the heart of my mother here, which may also be my past self as a fetus. One more. Excellence. Three bombs I can't even use. What do you got for me, Mom's Heart? Bring it on. I feel like this is going to go pretty well for us. Considering uh, I can kill basically every group of enemies in one hit with Brimstone. Got 97 bombs. These are all things that you would consider, you know, pretty strong for the mom boss fight. Not to mention insane base damage, uh, the ability to fly, although I still got hit there. Uh, and of course, my damage increases the more enemies I kill. So that was that. Uh, I guess this challenge is not over yet. But we can't go to the cathedral. We can only go to Shoal, which is kind of weird. But uh, I'll oblige. We're gonna visit the secret room on our way to the boss room here. Is this just Famine? Famine, you don't scare me at all anymore, man. Look at this run! There's nothing you can do. Hopefully we find a space bar item in here. Alright, see you later, Super Greed. Definitely pop this open, because why not? Uh, I'll stick with the tick, actually. I think the tick's been good to me. And also, I don't think I can lose it. <laughs> uh, I think... The tick you have to stick with. Gotta stick with the tick. That would be his motto if he ran for, you know, senior president. Or, like, dictator for life. Oh, took some serious damage here. Okay, made it out. It's kind of shitty. Hey, I got an idea. Let's just bomb our way out of this room. I don't like you, Greed. And for some reason, I find it nearly impossible to dodge your bullshit. So we'll just avoid you, get ready to take on oh, our final boss here. I still think we've completed the challenge. This is just like a, for fun. Maybe? I don't know. The bomb down the middle here. Kind of shot it out of the way, but the Fallen didn't seem to care because it basically murdered him anyway. Oh, oh I, he got me, but I still have health for some reason. I didn't take damage from that, I guess? That's weird. Anyway, okay. Come at me, Satan. I think my damage is getting increased a little bit by Rage. Again, assuming that does scale with Brimstone. If it doesn't, that's kind of shitty, but... I guess I can't complain about having this incredibly overpowered run anyway. 
We're getting close to foot territory, which is the only part of Satan that scares me anymore. The only part where I'm really scared of getting more than like one or two hits against me. Mostly as a result of those goddamn bomb flies. Yeah, okay, there comes some, but Satan himself is taking a fair amount of damage as well. Okay, one more. Excellent. Isaac was good today. Cross it off the list, I assume. Yes, we only have three left. Seven years, bad luck, large marge, and the purest. Not sure what we'll do next. Maybe I'll prioritize these challenges and try to finish maybe large marge next. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.